Hi, and welcome to the School of Ridiculous Inventions. Today, we are going to make something that makes noise, or more correctly, some kind of instrument. This is a very classical interface for an instrument. You might recognize this as a keyboard. And my goal today is to invent some other kind of interface. So I have a lot of ideas, but my first idea is I want it to be some kind of wind instrument. And a wind instrument works through air being blown through the instrument and then different holes and configurations of this instrument makes different frequencies pop out. I will not use that kind of instrument now. I will make a wind powered or wind controlled synthesizer. So that's my goal today. Uh, I will be using uh, some components, a light sensor, which I will document as a thing that looks like this because they are in our QuirkBot kit black. And I will also use the QuirkBot as a core component. And I will use a uh, LED uh, and that's basically it <laughs> so uh, what I'm gonna do is figure out a way of controlling my synthesizer with something similar to the keys like in a wind instrument and then combined with a reading between the light sensor and the LED. So I will use also a pipe that I can blow through and then air comes out. So what I have to invent here is some kind of device that can measure how much light is coming through depending on how much wind I push through. And this could actually be called some kind of an anemometer. 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 Anemometer, which is a wind power measuring device. So I'm gonna start putting them down here on paper. So I have a couple of ideas here. Number one is uh, a flap between the light LED and the light sensor. It lets through more and more light the harder you blow. Another one is uh, a bounce structure. That lets through different amounts of uh, light, reflects different amounts of light back onto the um, light sensor, depending on how much you blow. So if you blow really hard, you have a low value in that case, because it lets light just go on. Final version, a sensor on one side of a piece of paper folded out from a flap that folds forward and backwards, depending on how hard you blow, so I can have a gradient or holes that led through light, through the paper, uh, into the sensor. So light, LED on this side, and light sensor on that side. LED on this side, shooting light, and, LED, and a light sensor on the other side of the paper. So the one goes through the paper through holes, and the other goes through the paper, but through a gradient, which is a really cool idea that I think will work. Okay, so that's it. So, the first sensor prototype test. I'll show the sensor one first. Very simple flap inside here. The light sensor is on this side. The LED is just very sloppily put in here. And when I blow through the interface, you can see the flap here. I can vary the volume uh, and the CC value. So now I'm gonna connect this so you can see the output before we add sound or anything. What I'm doing now is I'm using the light sensor and I'm using a function in the code called squeeze sensor to interpret the output from the light sensor and turn it into a servo movement. So when I connect it, blowing into it and then you see dark, bright. So it's a pretty good sensor, but you can see it's very digital, so I don't have any fidelity if I blow soft. It still goes all the way, almost. And that is because two reasons. One reason is that the LED is loose in here. It's not a good way. You want it to be aiming at the light sensor, and then you want the flap to be gradually taking away some light. So I'll come into a solution on that for my final prototype. I actually skipped number two. Uh, because I, I didn't find a good way of adding that one securely on top of each other. So that is something that you can do at home uh, and try it out. It's probably a good idea. So uh, this one, or oh, number three, I mean, the flap with the gradient. So let's fire this one up. 
Dark. Right. And what you'll see here is this one has much more fidelity. So if I blow soft, it moves less. So for my advanced solutions, this would be way better. But there are some issues. It's hard to get this to bounce back enough because it gets more weight. Uh, and it's really hard to secure the, the LED facing the light sensor on this side. So that's one of the reasons that, even though this is a very good system, it's a bit advanced to make. I'll try to refine version 1 and actually combine the gradient solution with uh, flap somehow to make it more accessible. Okay, so those are my prototypes for the wind interface. They work really well, both of them. It's going to be a satisfactory either way. Now I'm just going to need to add the keys and the code. And this very simple code you can try immediately with the light sensor and your quirk bot and uh, the keys. So this code you can even implement in your own instrument. Yeah, so now when I'm not blowing, no sound. And when I blow, <laughs> no sound either. <laughs> so then we come into what's... Oh, actually now there's no light, which is why it's not working. Well, it works. It's obviously a bit glitchy in these very bright lights, but let's go on to the next prototype. I'm actually going to level it up a little bit because one thing that happens when you use key presses into, this only presses keys into the computer and there's a lag in the key input. Uh, when, it, when it comes to musical instruments, that's a lag you don't really want. So I'm actually gonna call my colleague uh, Christopher and ask him to, um, to make a really interesting MIDI implementation for our uh, QuirkBot so it can be more direct in terms of sound from, from the input. So tomorrow we're going to do the final prototypes with Christopher and then hopefully we can give you a little instrument show. Hi, uh, now we're in the final stretches before the big performance. Uh, and um, yeah, final, you say? Fine. <laughs> yeah. Very, very final. Well, Look, we, yeah, have, we, have some, we have something here. We have the, this one, we have the gradient, and I have an idea for the <clears throat> how to put this together like a, a button that sort of goes here and that spins here. Yeah. So that's that's gonna work. Yeah, we hope. We hope. And uh, is the code done for that? Yeah, you have the code. The code is uh, not done, <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I messed up. I have a big problem with my instrument because uh, I didn't really think all the way. And what I did was uh, I didn't plan the slope of the straw that I blow through for my instrument. So you might not see it, but it's, it's not going really far down. So I'm missing my, my flurf, as I call it, very technical term, the little paper piece here. It needs to come at this angle, so I need to change the design. And so I'm going to go in and do a change in design file and then cut out a new piece of cardboard. And hopefully I'll have a prototype uh, pretty soon. Okay, so it's time for the performance. Christopher, you will be performing on this instrument. Yeah. Spin-offs from uh, the discussion we had online on figuring out. The, so it's a spin-off, spin-off instrument. So this part here is the controller. So this is what I use to, to control things uh, that I touch and that sends the, a signal. And the thing here in the computer is the actual synthesizer. That's the thing that makes the sound. So here I can put in some samples and then I can control how the samples are playing by touching. I, I'm gonna see if I can actually record a little bit of sound here. Um, 
One, two, three, four. School of Ridiculous Inventions. All right, let's see if we can actually make this best sound sample. School of Ridiculous Inventions. 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 School of School of ridiculous in there. So then you can actually guru with the school of ridiculous in Literally. School of ridiculous in there. School of ridiculous. School of ridiculous. School of ridiculous. School of ridiculous. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I think I'm going to call it techno flute. It's a bass flute. You've seen this. This obviously has been featured, so I showed you the little, the little paper flap that bl I blow air on. But so now I've connected it to a synthesizer here in my laptop. Uh, so when I play my notes, nothing comes out until I blow. So I blow soft, it plays soft. And if I blow hard... So now, without further ado, let's do a little performance. Are you ready? I'll put on the School of Ridiculous. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So a recap of the project. We went from a simple keyboard to this, my final prototype, the Electro Bow. One of the biggest experiences from this was troubleshooting all the sensors, the wiring, the code, and getting into a structure of trusting that you can find that out. And that's one of the biggest learnings that I hope you can get from this if you do it yourself. And the best way to learn it is through doing it and uh, building your uh, patience and uh, creative confidence. So have fun, invent your own awesome instruments and see you in the future. Bye.